I would like to invite our beloved chairman and uh, Indian Red Cross Society chairman. And you are not children. Children, keep silent. Don't make me to say that. Kindly. You are all learned doctors. When speakers are speaking here, you also started speaking. Kindly don't do that. Be disciplined child doctors. May I, can I? Am I afford to? Yeah. So kindly don't. Yeah, <laughs> well, yes. May now humbly request our beloved chairman, Sri Ajay Mishra Garu. He happens to be the director general of uh, RACI, Renewable Energy Society of India. He is also the chairman of uh, Indian Red Cross Society. He was the former principal secretary of Telangana government for the energy department. We are so honored with his presence as a honorary chairman for ACT NOW. With these words, I humbly request him to come out to the dais and say a few words. Thank you, Dr. Murthy. Uh, it's always a pleasure. Uh, it gives me happiness when I come on this platform, which I've been doing for last three years, almost irregularly, I'll say. Few times I have missed and many times I am late. But I am late basically because I want to avoid the doctors. <laughs> no, doctors not by way of meeting all of you or on the dais, but because uh, on Saturday and Sunday I go for some kind of a physical uh, regimen, I'll put it. So that's why I am late, not for any other reason. Uh, I fully endorse what Dr. Sanjeev ji said. And there I can generalize, um, conceptualize uh, how medical profession changed 100 years back. I don't know how many of you have. Uh, I am not a doctor, by the way. But I read. The medical profession changed in the US, the system which we follow here of late, uh, desirable or undesirable, I'll not go into that. But it changed in the 1920s. And up to 1920s, the U.S. medical system was decentralized, in my words. Different areas of U.S., different brands of the same medicine were being sold. It was an uh, excellent relationship between the doctor and the patient, a decentralized one, I am repeating. But then one of the big pharma companies, which became big after that also, they sent, I think, two doctors for two, three months. They went around all the cities of US, made a study. For example, for fever, what are the medicines, brand names being prescribed in the different cities of US? And after that, the company came up with a common brand. And from there, the big brand pharma started with all its positive and negative. Similarly, I will say, carrying on from Dr. Sanjeev's this thing, I am not against big hospitals. Unfortunately, my son also goes there. But then, the bigger the hospital, the less the importance of an individual doctor. Some may agree, some may not agree, I leave it to that. <laughs> see, but then you realize, you see, the bigger the hospital, the individual doctor value is less because you are replaceable by anyone, except for maybe half a dozen doctors who see, attract patients for different reasons, their expertise, their see, hand curing, hand, etc. The same thing, see, for example, go to IKEA. What are you? Nothing there. You may buy, you may not buy, you are, you are like a commodity. You go to a small shop, you are more respected there. So my advice would be, start at the appropriate time your own small clinics. Small doesn't mean only led by one, uh, half a dozen doctors, see, where personal attention can be there to the patient. And patient remembers the doctor. If I go to Yashoda or Apollo, 99% I'll be seen by 12 doctors. I will not remember names of three. 
see because they'll all come one after the other rightly so many a times full body check is not required for say giving a small say treatment for a small problems of the body and uh, finally what i repeat what was said by if i remember correctly uh, dr shetty the public will always many a times regard you as god because you save lives but doctors should never think in their mind that they are gods thank you